and gentlemen, Zoo TV, this thing, what is it? Well, it's the 90s, it's the convergence of technologies, it's, it's the future. Oh, f age. We don't know what it is, so it must be art. Larry, can you look at this, this whole thing that's going on on stage and say, well, that's my little bit? Sorry? <laughs> Let me rephrase that. Which, like, which particular <laughs> little bit? Can you, can you look at this, this whole thing that's going on on stage and say, well, part of this is, is my creation, part of this was my idea? Definitely not. So they cut you out cold. Absolutely. what you're saying. Yeah, I'm basic. I'm doing it for the money. We stumbled <laughs> on onto a sad yeah. story here. Yeah. Do you think that the audience is getting something out of this? Do you think that they're seeing something new? Do you think it's stimulating their imagination? Yeah, they're coming to a rock and roll gig and watching television. I think that, I mean, <laughs> what more can you ask for? <laughs> Surely there's more to it than that. Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things about rock and roll stars is they're bigger than life, they're bigger than the audience, they're right. almost intimidating. Well, this whole set is like that, right? That's right, yeah. Isn't that, isn't that off-putting? Doesn't that kill intimacy, though? It does, yeah, absolutely, but you look great. <laughs> <laughs> This show has made the transition from arenas to the, to the stadiums. I mean, are you happy with the way it's all turned out? Has it been hard to keep it manageable? I think most of it has is, is, is actually translated very well. Um, some of the aspects of the show are even more um, effective outdoors, like the B stage, which is, the, which is what we're sitting on now, where we, we, we come out and do a couple of numbers in the middle of the, the stadium. I think that works even better outdoors because the, the problem, obviously, with the stadium is the, is the problem of contact and the fact that, you know, it's the people sitting at the very back of a stadium sometimes feel like, like they're not at the same gig as the people down the front. You've got to remember, uh, Elvis was a stadium act, the Beatles were a stadium act, and they were more commercialized and abused by um, the music biz than we'll ever be. You know, people talk about independent music, indie. What does that mean? You know, we have an independence because we've been, we've been given, we don't have to do anything we don't want to do. That's independence. We're here because we want to. There's no other reason. And we've, we've made more money outside of rock and roll than we have inside, just in terms of, you know, whatever the lotto or whatever our accounts and, you know. And, you know, we take care of things like that. We're not stupid about it, but it means that we don't have to do anything. We don't have to compromise our music. And that might be hard for you to accept, but, I, uh, but, I, but I'm telling you, it's the truth. And if we didn't enjoy this, we're going home. Habano, you've, uh... You have something on your jacket here. There's something on his chest. Oh, it's a spangle. It's a spangle. The, uh... Zoo beer. You know, last time we saw you, you were a normal guy. You know, you wore normal clothes and stuff. Now, you got the suits, you got the fly boots, you got the, uh, uh, I don't know, the fly goggles. I think that's a dye job on your hair. What's going on? <laughs> well, well, Reagan's one of my biggest influences. As you know, and I wanted that kind of Reagan blue. And, uh, it's important. Yeah. It's important in what way? Uh, it's important to please you. It's important, to, it's important to please you. Um, you didn't like me when I was me, so I found somebody new. You're not hiding, you, you're not hiding something behind those shades. And you love him. <laughs> yeah. Old Blue Eyes is back. <laughs> <laughs>